I found seven side hustles that don't require a lot of time. Each one is carefully selected to make you the maximum amount of money in the minimum amount of time. And we'll be going over this one side hustle that earns this girl over $20,000 a month. Let's get into it. Now you won't believe what I just found with this first side hustle, but it just makes too much sense. Now the interesting thing about a used car is the fact that it's an old car and it's something that requires routine maintenance. And one of the biggest maintenance things you can do for a car is change its oil. But the thing about changing your oil is that it's expensive because if you go to one of these quickie oil lube places or whatever, you're gonna end up spending anywhere from 80 to $120 just to change your oil. But the thing is, if you were to go to one of these auto stores and buy the oil yourself, you're gonna end up spending about 30 bucks and then watch a few YouTube videos and next thing you know, about 30, 40 minutes later, your oil's changed on your car. So the difference between $120 and $30 is what we like to call in the business margin. That's how much more money you can make just by doing the job yourself. So now that you have learned this new skill to change oil, all you need to do is just go around in your neighborhood and ask other people to change their oil. And what you're going to be doing that's totally different than what these quickie lube places are doing is that you're going to people's houses and changing their oil there, which automatically makes it easier for them to spend the amount of money that they would have normally spent had they gone to the auto lube place. Because if you're anything like me, you probably hate leaving the house unnecessarily and I'll never get around to changing my oil. So it would be nice if someone came to my house and changed my oil for me. The only thing you will really need to be careful with is the difference between synthetic and conventional motor oil because you don't want to accidentally mix the two because you can really mess up somebody's car. So whatever you do, be sure to do a few friends first and make sure that you know what you're doing. Do it with your own car and things like that. After that, then you can get some testimonials from people saying that you know exactly what you're doing and that you can actually help them get out of a jam. Now to really take this to the next level, find a friend, teach them how to do it and now you can be doing multiple jobs in the same day or you just have them do most of the jobs and then you can keep part of the profits while you pay them obviously but on the money meter i'll give this one a seven out of ten because it works out pretty well if you can actually scale it the next side hustle is fitness training for older people now stay with me on this one because it's kind of weird but it's also kind of interesting and can make you a lot of money essentially you're going to be providing health recommendations and workouts for older people the reason that you go with older people is typically they have a little bit more expendable income in order to be able to pay you to help them improve their health. And remember, it doesn't always have to be like lifting weights and running outside. It can be some things such as water aerobics, or it can even be something like nutrition. Now, the difference between what you would do versus if they were to go to like the local senior citizen center and be able to get workouts done there is that you're going to be providing a one on one service with them and then they can get specific help for their particular needs. You can usually charge seventy five dollars or more per session, depending on the amount of value you are bringing to that particular person. And when I say value, I mean, how much are you really helping them? This would actually be a really great option if you are already going to the gym regularly, you might be able to find someone there and then offer your services. Plus you will be able to be helpful to the community and actually get paid for it. Now to take this a step further, you can also create an online course or something that people can download and watch regularly on their own time. If you do this correctly, it can get insanely lucrative. So I will put this about an eight out of 10 on the money meter. The next side hustle is to become a local tour guide. Imagine showing people around your town, a place that you already know, showing them the best restaurants, the best locations, and also getting paid for it. Now, gonna be honest, this would actually work a lot better if you actually lived in one of these places that has a lot of tourism. However, that doesn't mean you couldn't always move to a place that has a lot of tourism. And being as though you are the tour guide, you're gonna always be like the smartest person in the room because they're all depending on you to show them a good time in your neighborhood. Now, depending on how popular it happens to be where you live, you can earn anywhere from 200 to 250 dollars per three to four hour tour plus tips which breaks down to around 60 to 75 dollars per hour and now here's something that's next level if you have like a van or can rent a van or something like that you can now take four to eight people with you rather than just two to three i'm going to give this one a seven out of ten because it really depends on where you live or if you're more willing to actually move to a place where there's a lot of tourism now did you know that it is totally possible to make hundreds or even thousands of dollars just by sending a few emails and with digital newsletters it's 100 possible it's just as simple as collecting email addresses and then sending those people valuable content and then once you get the email addresses there's actually a ton of ways that you can make money with it you can use something like referral marketing you can do advertising or you can even do lead generation an example of this working really well is of a friend of mine who owns a golf shop and what he does is he grabs a whole bunch of email addresses as much as he possibly 
possibly can when people come to his store. And he'll normally do so by offering them free golf gear, like maybe a golf ball or golf gloves in exchange for their email address so that he can email them in the future. But here is the crazy trick. Once he actually gets all these emails together, then he can go to golf courses in the area or other golf related things that people on that list would be interested in and then charge them to advertise in each one of the emails he sends. So he might send out a new email saying, hey, this is what I did to fix my slice or something like that. But then embedded in the email, he has an advertisement, which he charged someone normally around $200 just to be included in that one email. The potential with how much money you can make with this is pretty insane because you can actually go to like local golf courses or whatever. It just, you have to make this for whatever niche you decide to jump into. But whatever you decide, you can then go to them and say, hey, I have a list of email addresses of all these people who are interested in golf. Do you want to be in front of this of these people? And most businesses are gonna be like, yeah. But to also give you some examples of how some newsletters are really blowing up with the amount of money that they're making here, the Industry Drive newsletter, once they built up their business, they sold it for $525 million. The Peak newsletter sold for $5 million in less than three years. And these were huge newsletters that have millions of people on their email list. All you would need is just a few hundred or even a few thousand people on an email list. And you can make, even if it was a fraction of the 525 million that the industry drive made, you'll be making a decent chunk of money. So on the money meter, I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10 because it's really just too easy to ignore. Now there are two things that are guaranteed in life and that's death and taxes. Regardless of what's going on in the world, those are two things you just can't get away from. But when it comes to taxes, they are just complicated for no doggone good reason. It's really weird because you have to know how much money you made and then guess with how much the government thinks they're gonna want you to pay them and then they're gonna tell you later if you got it right. Yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but I mean, it is the way it is. So since everyone needs to do their taxes, it's a pretty good place to get in to be able to do and prepare other people's taxes. But the cool part is you don't have to worry about trying to learn this stuff 100% on your own. I wouldn't say go get some rinky dink course online or whatever. No, you wanna be able to learn from the right people. So you can go to places like the IRS, Intuit, and H&R Block, which will actually have these nice little courses that can show you exactly how to do taxes. And in a lot of instances, there are programs you can buy that all you have to do is just punch the number in and it'll crunch all of those numbers for you, spin them right back out, and then you could submit that to the IRS. With this side hustle, you can earn anywhere from 49 to $73,000 per year, plus you can do it all in your own time. I will give this a seven out of 10 because of how highly seasonal this type of side hustle happens to be, but regardless, it's still a high income skill that would be great to have. Now, what if I told you that you are thinking about money completely wrong? When it comes to money, I want you to remember these two things. There's a liability and there's an asset. A liability takes money out of your pocket where an asset puts money into your pocket. And one of the biggest liabilities that most of us have is a car note. When you're paying a car note or you're leasing a car, that is a liability taking money out of your pocket. So we need to find a way to flip it into an asset. And one of the best ways to do this is to share your car with people that need it, especially when you're not using it. And that's where a service like Turo comes in. Turo is a marketplace that allows people who are looking for cars who may not own one to be able to find you who owns the car and has the ability to allow them to use it and you can actually charge some decent money for it. In many instances, using a service like Turo is a lot less of a headache and can sometimes be cheaper than going to an actual car rental agency. Now I know it's scary to let someone else use your car for a while, but Turo does offer insurance for your car, just similar to like an Uber or a Lyft, if they were to do something, you know, crazy, like throw up in your car or something, you would need to get that cleaned up, but Uber and Lyft pay for it. Very similar thing when it comes to Turo, they offer insurance up to $750,000 in case anything happens to the car. Now the earning potential is pretty wild because you can make around $10,000 per year with just one car. But if you really wanted to take this up to the next level, you can do multiple cars, maybe buy cars that you are just going to be using for Turo. And if you were to get a lot of them, you can make anywhere from around 94 to $100,000 per year with multiple cars. If you don't believe me, check out this video right here from Aubrey, where her and her husband earn $20,000 per month in profit from their Turo business just renting out cars. I will give this one about a six out of 10 because you will need a car in order to do this. But if you're able to invest in a car and be able to have multiple ones out there, you can have a pretty decent income 
income just letting other people borrow your car. Did you know that the board game industry is worth over $12 billion? Yeah, that's billion with a B. Well, you can tap into this industry by hosting board game and trivia nights. Hosting these board game nights allows you to bring people together to play games. You would be responsible for selecting the board games, coming up with the trivia ideas, as well as facilitating the overall experience of the night. You can host these events at local cafes, bars, or even in your own home. So reach out to local venues and see if they would be open to hosting these types of game nights. You'll be surprised how many of them actually want to do it because they would love the extra customers. To get the word out on these game nights, just depend on places like social media to promote it, local event listings, and then just word of mouth. People like to go out and do something unique and meet new people. So just giving them an excuse to come together is usually gonna be helpful in making you some extra money. Which brings us to our next point of how much money you can really make with this. Well, you're gonna be surprised. Usually you can charge like a participation fee of anywhere from 10 to $20 per person. So if you were to host an event and let's say 20 people showed up and you were charging around $15 per person, you would end up making $300 in a single night just playing games. And you wouldn't necessarily have to worry about paying the restaurant or anything like that because when people come, they're gonna end up getting stuff from the bar, they're gonna end up ordering food or whatever. If you frame it like that to the restaurant, more times than not, you won't have to worry about paying any types of extra fees just to have the party there. And to be honest, if a restaurant still wants to charge you for it, just call another one. There's plenty of them out there who would be more willing to have people come into their restaurant for free and just have a few game nights. As you build your reputation and expand your audience, you might be able to do this not just once a week, but multiple times a week. And at that point, you start making a few thousand dollars per month just by hosting board game and trivia nights. So if you have a passion for games and you have a knack at just, you know, providing a pretty cool experience for a lot of people coming together, this can really be turned into a pretty good thriving business. And I'm gonna give it a six out of 10 on the money meter because it does require you to, you know, go out there and find these restaurants that would be open to be able to having some game nights. Now, earlier I mentioned that starting a newsletter is one of the greatest, most easiest side hustles that you could ever do just by sending emails. But did you know that you can actually start it for free using one simple hack? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can get started for free, as well as show you how I'm going to be taking this exact same business model and turning it into a six-figure income. I believe in you, and it's about time that you believed in yourself. Take care.